Honorable Speaker, sir, draft DPRs for five river links, namely Daman Ganga Pinjal, Partapi Narmada, Godavari Krishna, Krishna Pennar, and Pennar Kaveri have been finalized. According to this statement by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in the 2022-23 budget, the Kane Betwa linking project at an estimated cost of Rs 44,605 crore will be taken up. According to the centre, this will provide irrigation benefits to 9 lakh hectare farmland, drinking water to 62 lakh people, 103 megawatt hydropower and 27 megawatt solar power generation. But what is river interlinking? It is a system of literally linking a river with surplus water to a water deficit one using a network of canals and reservoirs. A project was proposed way back in 1972 by irrigation engineer K. L. Rao, which would divert floodwaters of the Ganga to Kaveri, which was more than 2,000 kilometers away. The Kane Betwa project aims to transfer surplus water from the Kane River in Madhya Pradesh to Betwa in Uttar Pradesh to provide relief to the drought-prone Bundelkhand region. Both the rivers are tributaries of the larger Yamuna River. It is argued that the budget allocated for this project is an appeasement preceding the UP elections. Not only this project, but others have been opposed by environmentalists for a long time because of its effects on the local ecology and the water bodies themselves. So the water stream gets uh, affected in both the basins, the donor basin and the recipient basin. In the donor basin, uh, typically there is, a, there is going to be a huge uh, dam uh, blocking the path of the river, storing that water in the river water for the transferring that water to the recipient basin. Also storing it for across the year so that it is uh, available for transfer to the other basin. Uh, so the downstream portion uh, of the uh, donor basin there'll be uh, almost no water in non-monsoon months, in post-monsoon months. And the upstream portion, there'll be no flow, it'll be only a reservoir, stagnant water. And the further upstream, typically what happens is that because they want to ensure that the water continues to flow to the dam, they also restrict the water use uh, in the upstream part of the basin. And in the reci recipient basin, there'll be many other issues, including water logging, salinization, unsustainable cropping pattern, and so on. According to a study published in Current Science in December 2021, the Kane Betwa project will lead to the submergence of a major area of the Panna Tiger Reserve, not only endangering the tigers, but also their prey, such as the Cheetal and the Sambar. The project will incur a loss of about 58 kilometers of the tiger habitat within the reserve and an indirect loss of 105 kilometers because of loss of habitat and connectivity due to submergence. Additionally, it will also lead to a loss of 2 million trees. The study mentions that the submerged area has rich tree density and biodiversity. The reserve was included in a global network of biosphere reserves by UNESCO in 2020, along with being touted as a critical tiger habitat. In MP, the districts covered by the 230-kilometer-long canal are Tikamgarh, Panna and Chhatarpur, along with Jhansi, Banda, Lalitpur and Mahoba districts of UP. River interlinking is not the only way to achieve water security. There have been examples within Bundelkhand, like Jakhni village, who have achieved water self-sufficiency through efforts like the construction of farm ponds, restoration of water bodies, collection and utilization of grey water, raising of farm buns and intensive plantation of trees since 2014.